you guys welcome or welcome back to my channel Ellery today's video is all about my favorite current skincare products so this is a video and question that I've been asked pretty much ever since I started Instagram and YouTube like you guys are always asking me what I use on my skin and my skin has always been pretty normal uh, my mom has really great skin so does my sister I never really had a routine I still don't really have a routine I kind of just use what I need at that time as you know with all skincare products or brands it's all about preference you know some things that work for me may not work for you and vice versa so as I go through everything I will let you know how long I've been using them and how they work for me and why I love them so much so the first product I'm going to share with you guys is something that I use when I'm traveling or if I'm not wearing makeup and I'm going to be out and about all day and I want to make sure my skin isn't super oily or dirty. I've been using since like the beginning of this year. It is Pixie's Glow Tonic. So Glow Tonic is basically a toner. And um, I started using it because like on certain days, like I'm like, like why? Why am I so oily? I would normally just wash my face with some water, like, you know, and pat it dry to kind of absorb some of the oil but my face would still feel dirty and it would get kind of ashy you know because if I'm out and about and I splash water in my face and dry it with a napkin like I'm gonna be ashy if I don't have my moisturizer so I put um, some glow tonic which it comes in like a pink bottle like this this is also from pixie this is their fixing mist which I also love but it comes in like a bottle like this like the liquid form and I will put it like in a travel size a container like you use when you get on the plane and keep little cotton circles with me so that when I was out and about I can just you know clean my face with that but I ran out of that and luckily when I ran out they sent some glow tonics to go which I'm not sure if this is new or not but I had never seen these pads before because they actually sell pixie at like the target down the street at my house and I had never seen these before otherwise I would have got them a long time ago but they're basically just exfoliating toner pads. They look just like cotton circles except they're like soaked in glow tonic. Like exactly what I was doing but travel friendly. Genius, right? Genius! So even though my main purpose for using them was kind of just to clean my face, absorb some oil, and you know feel a little bit more refreshed, I'm going to read what they're specifically supposed to do. Which um, they're supposed to tone, brighten, hydrate, and gently exfoliate your skin so that it feels clearer and smoother. So not only was it like wiping off the dirt and oil off my face, it was also hydrating it and making it, giving it a brighter feel, which the water just clearly was not doing. It's alcohol free, it's hypoallergenic, it also has glycolic acid, which is good to have in your skincare products because it helps like stimulate your cells. It has aloe vera for healing and soothing and ginseng, which is good to like renew your complexion. So I love these. I would say the only thing that I don't necessarily like about these is the smell. Like I wish they smelled like this. Like this, this fixing mist. <sighs> Bomb. I wish these smell like this. Like it will get a 100% A+, plus, but right now it's like a 99 because it doesn't smell like this. Like it has rose water and green tea in it though. So maybe they need to like just squirt it with, with this, but that is the only downfall. I don't like the way it smells, but it still does the job, especially for traveling and especially for days that I don't wear makeup and I'm just out and about and you know, hot and stuff. Like these are great. It just needs a little. Okay, so that's that. The next product I'm going to share, I have been using these since I was in high school. I don't know if you guys have ever heard of Queen Helene. It might be Queen Helen, but I've always said Queen Helene. And it's sold like in a beauty supply store. This brand was like my introduction into skincare. Like, these were the only things that I knew of and used. Because, you know, every time I went to the beauty supply store, I would see them and I'd be like, oh, let me try that, let me try that. So these are my favorite of the Queen Helene brand. Uh, the first one that I ever started using was the Mud Mask. It looks like this. They changed the packaging since when I first started using them. And you guys already know what Mud Masks are for. They're to like tighten your lines and help with, you know, firming your skin. And you just leave it on for like 15 minutes until it gets really hard. You can tell because it'll look dry and you can touch your skin and it feels really hard. And you just wash it off and your face looks more brightened and refreshed and clean and firmer. So this is the very first skincare product I've probably ever tried. So I still use this as you can see, it's, you know, kind of gone. So after I fell in love with this, I decided to try more from the Queen Helene line. And the next one that I tried, this is just an exfoliant. 
Uh, it smells like mint. So when my face needs like a really deep clean, I'll just squeeze this in my fingers. And the little beads, you know, rub off all the dull skin. And it smells really nice. And don't forget your neck. Don't neglect the neck. So I rub it all over my face and neck. And, you know, it smells really good. And it exfoliates your skin. So your skin feels like it could breathe after you use this. But another great Queen Helene product. And the last one and my favorite, I would have to say of all three of them, is the grapeseed pill-off mask. Now mine is completely empty. I just used the rest of it like last weekend so I need to get some more. But it smells really lovely and it's like a thick gel and I put it all over my face and my neck and of course it gets really tight and then you just peel it off. Out of all the pill-off masks I have, I would say this is my favorite just because I like to feel like it's actually peeling something off. Like Now it's probably not good for like really, really, really sensitive skin or skin that gets red really easily because it really adheres to your skin. So when you peel it off, like my face is really hairy. I'm sure you guys have noticed that from my makeup tutorials. So I actually feel like it's ripping off some of my hairs on my face. Like that's how strong it is. And other peel off masks that I use, you know, it just kind of peels off. It doesn't hurt or anything like that. So. I don't know if it's good that it hurts sometimes, <laughs> but I like it because I feel like it's actually doing its job as far as pulling off that layer of dead skin. So this is by far right now my favorite peel off mask and that's why it's empty. Do not apply this with a brush, like you have to use your fingers because it's really thick when you apply it and once you peel it off, like your face feels like a new face. So as far as the Queen Helene line, these are actually the only ones I've tried so I won't say these are my favorites because I might have other favorites, but, but these are some of my favorites from her line and like I said, you can get these at the beauty supply store. I think they range from like this one, the scrub is only $4 and I think this one is four or five dollars. Like they're really cheap, so you might as well give them a try. You probably get all of these for like twenty bucks. So love Queen Helene. Don't sleep on her. Okay. Next, I'm gonna share my favorite moisturizer, which is from Urban Skin RX. It is their Hydro Balance Light Moisturizer. I'm sure you guys have seen me use this a bajillion times. I've been using it since I probably last year, maybe, maybe even earlier than that. But the reason why I love this moisturizer so much is because I can put this on before my makeup and I still won't have like really oily skin. Like it's really light and still moisturizes your skin. So after I do like my grapeseed pill or whatever type of pill that I do, my face can sometimes feel a little tight, you know, because it's doing its job and making your skin a little tighter. And this is really lightweight, so it doesn't feel like you're adding all the oil back onto your skin. It just feels like, you know, you're moisturizing your skin and it's really lightweight. And I wear this before my makeup. If I don't have any makeup on, it's not really scented and it has a lot of vitamins in it. And like I said, the main thing I love about it is that it doesn't clog your pores. So if you're looking for a really lightweight moisturizer to like wear before your makeup or just in general, I definitely would recommend trying this. It's for normal and combination skin. I would say I have normal, sometimes combination skin, but either or, I never have a problem with this making my face feel super oily. I've had this bottle in particular for a while. You only need like a little bit to put across your whole face. And I think their jars now are a little bit bigger than this. I don't know if it's the same amount of ounces, but I know they're bigger than this because I have one waiting for me, so. It's okay that I'm almost done with this one. But like I said, this is a great moisturizer to use after you cleanse your face and before your makeup to you know hydrate your skin without making it feel super heavy. Okay, moving on to another mud mask. This one is more so for detoxifying, but it feels like it firms it as well. Like when I tell you that this mask is like, it's changed my life. It is from Pure. It is called a Detoxifying Mud Mask with Pascalite. Pascalite? Pascalite? I'll write it somewhere over here. Like, I know I just talked about my Queen Helene mask, and I still love her. Like, she definitely helps with firming and brightening my skin. But this. You gotta be careful with this, though, because I am telling you, this right here. I made the mistake of one time putting this on and like sitting on my couch and my air conditioner kicked on and the vent was like right in front of my face and I was sitting there like what the hell is going on like I felt my skin being like stretched back like I was getting a facelift while I wasn't under any anesthesia like it felt crazy and it dried so fast because I'm sitting in front of the vent 
and I was like, why does my face was literally stuck? Like I was gonna do a video and show you guys, but I swear it is so scary looking that I didn't want to like I wanted you guys to experience it yourself. I didn't want you to see my face to be like, oh no, girl, you look crazy. I ain't doing that. But it literally like sucks your entire face back. I don't know what type of clay Pascalati clay is, but bruh, it ain't no joke. It unclogs my pores. Like sometimes I get like little bumps on the bottom of my chin, like small, small, small bumps. Like I don't know what they're called because they're not white or black. They're just like bumpy and on my nose. And that's when I go reach for this because after I take this off, like my skin feels so smooth. It's so much clearer. It feels like 150 times better. You guys have to try this. And once you try it, go in my comments and tell me how it snatched your face back. Hands down. My favorite mud mask right now from Pure. I love stuff where I feel like I can feel it working. Like this, you're going to feel it working. As it dries, you're going to feel it doing what it's supposed to do. So I love instant results. And this is one. Which moves me on to my next one. Now everybody knows or should know that Lancome skincare products are bomb. They just got it. They just got it. They, they got the key. So earlier this year, I got a Lancome Genifique mask. And yeah, it pretty much changed my life. It's basically a mask that they say is supposed to give you a youthful appearance and make your skin bright. And you know, normally when you read that stuff, you're like, mm -hmm. yeah, I'm sure, right? But for real, it really does. You, you're gonna be able to tell the difference pretty much when you take the mask off. My skin felt really soft. Like it felt like I had new skin that I didn't want to put anything on. Like. And after I took it off, like normally, you know, sometimes face, you have to like wash your face because it makes you feel oily. Like I didn't have to worry about that. So I went to Sephora to buy another mask and they didn't have it. I don't know if it's not sold in stores or not. But once they didn't have it, I kind of just kind of forgot about it. And then Lancome had sent me, you know, another Genevieve mask. So I was like, hey. And if you guys follow me on Snapchat, you know I used it on the car ride to New Orleans at the Essence Festival. And same thing, took it off, my skin felt bomb, brighter, supple, like, and I was like, okay, I need to get another mask or something similar. So I went back to Sephora, they still didn't have the mask, but they had this, which is what is in the mask. It is called Genifique, and it is a youth activating concentrate. So the mask basically has this in it, but I think the mask is more concentrated, so it's more instant as far as the results. And this, you know, you kind of just use over time and, you know, you gradually see a difference. But you basically just unscrew the top. And as you can see, this little part will start to rise. So once you close the bottle, it basically sucks up the amount you need. And when you open it, whatever is in the syringe is all you need for your entire face. So, like, I'll just use this little pump at the top and I'll pump a little bit, do my forehead, pump another little bit, cheek, pump another little bit, other cheek, you know. And whatever is in here is enough for your entire face. And I say that because it's not cheap, you know? <laughs> I got this, a travel size of this, and this eye cream for $78. And this actually cost $78 alone. So is it on the pricier side? Yeah. But as far as results, like if you use this, it's you're supposed to use like in the morning and at night. If you use it like you're supposed to use it, you're gonna see a difference. And this is their Genifique eye cream. Now I haven't been using this that long to tell you like actual results that I've had but I'm basically using it for preventative reasons like I noticed like last year that I was starting to get not no I'm not gonna sit here and say I have black circles under my eyes but I've noticed that my under eye area is getting a little bit darker when I'm not when I don't have makeup on so I'm using this to prevent it getting any darker and hopefully to brighten up my under eye area and so far I've been using both for like probably three weeks three four weeks and sometimes I'll wash my face and just put this on and I won't really need a moisturizer because it kind of feels like it hydrates your skin a little bit too. So I definitely recommend if you're getting like in the older age range that you start using things like this that are going to prevent your face from aging as fastly as it would if you weren't, you know, taking really good care of your skin. So like I said, Lancome skincare products are bomb. They have a lot of great other products besides these. There are some products out there that are actually worth the money. So I believe Lancome is definitely worth the money, as well as this next product I'm about to talk about. This is the Peter Thomas Roth 24K Gold Mask. I travel with this mask. Like anytime I go to a town or I have an event, I always use this mask before. 
to give me like glowy skin. Now, it says it's supposed to lift and firm, which I can't necessarily feel. It may be doing that, but I can't feel it like instantly firming my skin. I pretty much use it because not only do I feel like it hydrates my skin, like if my skin is really, really dry or after I exfoliate and I put this on, I feel like it makes my skin feel really hydrated. But the 24 karat gold that is in it, once you wash your face off, there's still like reflects of gold like all over your skin, which gives you like a natural glow. It has caffeine, hyaluronic acid, both great to have in skincare products. So like I said, this is on the pricier side, but like I... I love this stuff. Some things are worth the money, and this is one of them to me. I haven't tried their eye patches yet, just because I didn't see enough gold in them when I went to Sephora, and I want them things to look golden if I'm gonna spend the money on it. But I'll try those next just for y'all to see if I like them as much as I like this. I use it probably twice a week, and you know, if you use it sparingly, it'll last you a while. But this for sure is one of my favorites. It's just. It's just it's just bomb. I don't really know how else to describe it. Like it just gives you a really, really nice glowy skin. It brightens and it feels amazing. So that is why I use it. Lastly, I have some honorable mentions. <laughs> They're not necessarily skincare products, but they are products that I tried and I either told you on Snapchat, like I'll let you know if I like it or not. And uh, I liked it, so I want to share these with you. This one is called No More Stash. I got this in the checkout line at Sephora. It's basically 12 waxing strips for your stash. And it comes with like some hydrocortisone cream and like I said, 12 strips. It's basically a waxing strip and you're supposed to like rub it in between your hands to like get it a little warm and peel it off and put it like on your stash. So when I first opened these and I saw these, I was like, why did I buy these? Especially since they're $18 and it's only $12. I was like, this this ain't gonna work. I gotta warm it myself. Like, I just tried it one day thinking it wasn't gonna work. And put it on my stash, pressed it on. And T, when I snatched that thing off. And since I didn't think it was gonna work, when I snatched it off, I was like, like, like I scared myself and I looked at the strip and you can see like all my stash hairs on there So I mean if you're looking for something that is like travel friendly and you don't have time to get a wax I would definitely recommend these. I didn't have any irritation. I just got a cotton ball and a really um, mild alcohol and put it over my stash, but yeah these actually work. Another honorable mention that I wanted to talk about was Jouer's lip treatment their conditioning lip treatment i actually use these i don't know if you guys remember uh, a video i did and like it was in the blooper section where i was like my lips are ashing and i just grabbed something off my dress and i was like oh wait oh wait it's a lip enhancer like i was scared that my lips were just about to be like um it doesn't noticeably to me make your lips look bigger or anything like that but it does make them feel bomb and i actually put this lightly underneath when i wear um liquid to matte lipsticks. Actually in a tutorial I did not too long ago with the pink and purple where I had the pink and purple ombre lips. I posted it on Instagram and YouTube. And I, you can see me like dab my lips. It's because I had this on like the whole time I was doing my makeup and I gently like dabbed a little bit of it off so that my lips weren't super oily. But I still keep like a really thin layer of this underneath. It still lets the lipstick apply matte but keeps your lips uh, moisturized underneath. So I love to wear this whether I have on a uh, lipstick or not. It makes my lips feel really, really good. And I have noticed that ever since I've been using these, I usually have chapped lips like all the time. Like I don't know why I have permachap on my lips. It doesn't matter like if I exfoliate my lips or whatever. Like my lips always get dry. And I also pick my lips a lot. Like I bite my lips. But I've noticed that ever since I've been using this regularly, my lips have been super moisturized. I haven't been biting them as often and they are a lot more softer. So this is a great lip treatment that don't make your lips feel super greasy. It's not super thick, but it, you know, it conditions your lips and makes them feel pretty nice. So those are all of the skincare items I wanted to talk about in this video. Like I said, I have other faves, but you know, I wanted to show you guys like my current obsessions as of lately i've been getting a lot more skincare products so these are like the ones i want to talk about in this video and i'll probably share more in a different video but i do want you guys to be aware it is very important not to 
do too much to your face at one time. Like everything I've used in this video, I've used periodically. I don't put this all on my face at the same time. You definitely don't want to confuse your skin or overdo anything and cause like crazy reactions to your skin. So even though a lot of these things I've been using for a while, when I do want to try something new, I usually try it when I haven't done a lot of the other things in a while, if that makes sense. Like test them out the right way. Give your skin time to breathe in between to see if you like things and make sure you read the directions so that you're using it properly. Like you don't want to do too much. That's all I'm going to say. So make sure you're being smart with the things you try out. What works for me may not work for you guys, but like I said, these are some of my favorites. If you guys have any other favorites, let me know so I can see what they're about in the comments. I plan to do a hygiene video very, very soon just because I have a lot, actually a lot of hygiene products that I really love and like little tips that I use for that as well that I know 100% work and that I can actually vouch for, if you know what I'm saying. So stay tuned for that and uh, don't forget to subscribe y'all. Until then, love you guys. Mwah.